welcome to my September favourites video. I wanted to talk quickly about why I've been MIA, missing in action recently. You've probably noticed I haven't been uploading as regularly as I usually upload and a few of you had asked me on Twitter where I've been. About a month ago I started to feel a little bit drained and everything was kind of getting a bit full on so I haven't been uploading as regularly and I took a little bit of a break and went on a couple of holidays with my family and spent time with them so I felt like I wasn't seeing them at all and now I'm back again and you can hear I've got a cold so I've been a little bit drained but hopefully I am back to full strength again but I just wanted to say sorry to you guys because I feel like I've been neglecting you and I hope you can forgive me for spending a bit of time with my family and kind of getting myself back up and strong again. So I'm going to get straight into my September favourites and the first thing that I want to talk about is what I'm wearing on my lips. Now usually I stay clear of bright lip colours but this one is just so cool. I love it so much. It's the Smashbox Mega Tint Lip Colour and this is in Punch. Now this claims to kind of nourish your lips and when you put this on it's absolutely incredible. It almost feels quite wet like a lip balm but it's not. It's a lipstick. Usually I find them really really dry but this is so nourishing. It doesn't have water in it so it's not shiny so it goes on quite wet and then it dries really matte it stays on for so long the color is insane you literally need like one glide and then the color is there and this is kind of really cool for me because it's a pink but you can get a whole range of colors in these from reds to kind of more nude colors and they last for a long long time as well this one will last me at least sort of three four hours and then I can touch up a little bit it's not on the cheap side it's around 15 pounds but as lipsticks go I've been literally wearing this almost every day and I just can't get enough of it the way that it goes on the look the kind of feel it's just really really cool I love the fact it's a swivel as well so you can keep it nice and clean and when it starts to run down you can just swivel it up staying on lips and because of my cold my lips have completely dried out so I've been using a balm to give my lips like the most nourishment I find it really hard to find a balm that kind of does more than half an hour of nourishing usually I put a balm on it feels fine then half an hour later they're dry again so I turn to my Kiehl's lip balm number one and this is my favorite of all time for kind of getting the moisture and helping cracked lips it doesn't look that great the packaging it doesn't smell of anything the balm is clear so it doesn't particularly look very pretty but it is the best lip balm for me in terms of nourishing it's packed with stuff like wheat jam oil all sorts of different things that are going to put that moisture back in I love Kiehl's because it's really good especially if you've got sensitive skin as well and I love the range that they do and this is really really good for like harsh condition weather so if you're in the cold or the real heat but I use this if I have a cold as well and get rid of those nasty kind of cracked lips Next, onto my nail colour that I've been wearing. Now, I wore this a few months ago, and so many of you guys commented on my video, and I've been wearing it so much this month. And this is the Sephora Nail Polish Henna Thing Is Possible. Now, this is the only pot that I've ever had, and when I went to put it on again this month, it hadn't dried up at all, because sometimes I go back to a nail polish and it's gone gloopy. This is exactly the same as when I bought it, which is amazing. The colour is beautiful. It's like an injection of like pink, purple, all sorts of different things, and it's kind of got a metallic look to it as well it goes on really well it lasts really well it has a really nice shine the only problem is we can't buy it in the UK which is so annoying so I have to use it sparingly and make sure I get another pot when I go back to America yeah. onto my foundation and I have been wearing the everlasting foundation by Clarins this is in 104 cream now when I go through to the autumn I want a foundation that is going to give me a bit more coverage than I would in the summer but not look really cakey and this ticks every box I love it so much I wore it for my mum's wedding and it lasted so long and the word everlasting is kind of really appropriate because it does last almost all day as long as I put a primer underneath. It does have SPF 15 in it but it doesn't look bad in photos because I find SPF in foundations can look really white. I don't have that problem with this. It goes on really well, it just lasts a long time. There's a whole range of colours in terms of your skin type, whatever you want. They've got a great range and yeah I just love it. I go back to this foundation time and time again because it just looks so nice and it's not really cakey. And then going on to what I have been smelling like this month. I am obsessed with Satsuma from The Body Shop. The whole range is just amazing and I'm like slowly building up loads of stuff. I talked about this in a video before and I'm just a 
obsessed with it. It's the Satsuma Body Mist and it's just so nice and fresh. Sometimes I don't feel like wearing a perfume, plus it's cheaper to use a body mist as well. As much as I use it, I'm like spraying it on my body. I spray it on my car sometimes, like in my bedroom. I feel like with a body mist you can kind of just spray it everywhere and it just smells so fresh. And the Body Shop have like loads of different smells. So if you don't like Satsuma, there's melon and all sorts of different things in there. So really, really nice. And I've used literally half a bottle already. So this kind of carries me through from the summer into the autumn because it's quite a fresh kind of scent. And then going on to hair, I have got what I call a hair donut. Now, I've been wearing my hair like this a couple of times. If you guys don't know what a hair donut is, I don't actually know what the official name of this is. I'm just going to call it a hair donut. And basically, you put your hair in a ponytail, and then you put the ponytail through this kind of donut, and you can put it on the side or the top of your head or at the back. And then you wrap your hair around the donut. I'm sure if you guys YouTube like a tutorial on how to do this, there will be loads out there. And it's just a really easy way of putting your hair up that looks really glamorous. And I've worn it a couple of times like this. My hair isn't thin, but it's not really, really thick either. So I find that I get, find it quite hard to get the volume in a bun. And this is just such a cheap way of doing that. It like cheats out of like having loads and loads of hair. You can just wrap it around and it looks like a really neat bun. And it's super cheap. I picked this up from a drugstore and you can get this from kind of any drugstore for around a couple of pounds. So really easy hairstyle and super cute to do as well. And then next, I want to show you guys something I've been carrying around. It's my notepad. Now, I think everybody should carry a notepad around with them. And mine is a Little Miss Sunshine one because it makes me smile. And they have a whole range of these. They have Little Miss Naughty, Little Miss Sunshine. Whatever Little Miss you are, you can find these online. And I just write down everything. And I think it's really important to write your ideas and a little to-do list so I don't forget stuff. And it's always nice to have a fun notepad as next, well. Next, I was having a bit of an untidy day and I felt like my makeup was kind of all over the place so I wanted something to organize it a little bit and I went into Primark and I picked up a makeup bag and I was so happy when I found this because I've been looking for something similar and I just loved the pattern on it. It kind of looks like Kath, Kath Kidston but not the price tag of Kath Kidston and I love that stuff so much but I wanted to get something that was just cheap and cheerful and this is waterproof as well so you can wipe it if it gets dirty. I love the fact that inside it has different compartments so I can put all my makeup in and I've kind of separated it into eyes and face and lips in the middle and stuff and it's just really really cute. I love the colour, the little birds on it. Sometimes it's nice just to pick something up cheap and cheerful and if you can buy things like this I feel like you can organise all your makeup and it's not going to get dirty And because mine was kind of crammed into the same thing and it was all getting really dirty so I purchased this and it was such a bargain. I loved it so much. It was literally a couple of pounds. And the next thing, you guys, when you see this, are going to know how much I love it and why. Now, Ingrid, Miss Glamorazzi, has bought out a collection of jewellery with Bauble Bar. And she sent me one of the pieces and I was over the moon when I opened it up. This is amazing! It's so sparkly. It's rose gold, a little bracelet. She knows how much I love sparkly things and I talk about it all the time, so this was literally perfect. I love the fact it's rose gold. I don't have too many rose gold things and I'm trying to get more. It's just such a difference from kind of gold or silver and it kind of goes with more things. It's just so pretty. And then at the top, there's a little kind of tie where you basically put it around your wrist and then you pull the bits at the top and then you can change it to obviously the size of your wrist. It's just beautiful and the whole collection is so nice so I'll put a link below to all the stuff that she's got you guys have to go and check it out she's got necklaces and bracelets and oh it's making me want everything now I had a look and I was like want 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 <laughs> but at the moment I'm just going to enjoy this bracelet it's so cute and every time I wear it someone's commented on it as well so it's really really cute and then finally last but not least now it's getting colder whilst I was in Primark me and my sister picked up a onesie and it's not just any old onesie it's a cow onesie how cool is this so it's got little ears and a little bow and I just for those of you that don't know what a onesie is I'm sure you do but it's like an all-in-one kind of bodysuit that you can wear inside the fact that you could look like a human cow is just brilliant I absolutely love it and it has like little kind of bits on the bottom to cover your feet and stop you from slipping and then also the best part of it it actually has if I can find it a cow tail yes it has a cow tail and I just find that when I go into the winter I'm so cold all the time and a onesie is just amazing because you
you can snuggle in them on the sofa and just oh I love it so much and then finally on to my monthly giveaway for those of you that don't know what I'm doing I'm doing a mini giveaway every month for the rest of the year as a massive thank you for you guys so this month's giveaway is a makeup brush bag I love it because it's kind of black with a little croc effect and gold on it in fact I love it so much that I bought one for myself too so you and I are both going to have the same makeup brush bag and inside you've got a couple of zips and then some pockets to put your brushes as well so the contest is international it's open for the rest of the month and you need to give this video a big thumbs up that would mean so much to me be subscribed to my channel as well to enter and then the third thing that you need to do is leave a comment below so, so massive good luck for those of you entering and I just wanted to say again thank you so much for all your support because when I don't regularly upload I feel like I'm letting you guys down and I always feel so bad about it so I wanted to just tell you guys why I haven't been uploading this regularly and the fact that I'm back again but your support means the absolute world to me so I hope you are having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video bye